Hey Greyhounds, welcome to the 2020 school year. We know things are a little different than usual, but we're going to try to make this year a great one. In this video, you'll hear from staff, teachers, club leaders, and more. So let's get started by speaking with our administration. Hi, I'm Mrs. Sebo. I'm the principal at East High School, and this is my fifth year here at East. So this year in distance learning, unlike last spring, you'll be able to spend a lot of time online completing work, interacting with your teachers and your classmates, getting help, completing assignments, taking tests online. Uh, you'll really be able to do all of the things you could do in school, plus a lot more from the safety of your own home. So one of the most important things about high school uh, are all of the things you get to do outside of the classroom. And so last year we tried to get creative with some of those things, so this year we intend to do the same. So if we're able to bring students in for some small group experiences, whether it's, at, at, it's athletics or activities, performances, some unique experiences, we're hoping to be able to get together physically in person, at least a little bit, even in distance learning. So watch for those opportunities because that will be very important and very different. Uh, and I'm also really excited about the amount of support and help we've gotten from our school staff here at school, but also from our student groups who have really helped us reach out to all of you and to our school community. So thank everyone for their support. Hi, this is uh, one of the two assistant principals here. I'm Mr. Rock, and I have been at East for 10 years. Uh, this year's distance learning is uh, very different from last year's, primarily because we're using Canvas as a learning management system, which allows you to interact with your teachers uh, and other students to be able to get your information and your work. Uh, and it should be uh, a much easier system to be able to use and navigate. Uh, I would just really encourage you all to reach out to your teachers or fellow students if you're struggling with something or you don't understand something. Uh, a lot of times it's hard to be the first one to jump into a Google Meet or to ask a question thinking that uh, you don't want people to know that you're asking that question. But if you have that same question, so do a lot of other students. So. Uh, please don't be shy. Uh, reach out for help. Uh, ask a teacher or another trusted adult or a friend and, and get the answers to what you're looking for. Come by the drive through and you'll be able to pick up a free sticker and t-shirt. You'll also be able to grab your textbooks for this year. For seniors, you'll be able to pay for your senior shirts. The deadline for paying for those is the day of the drive through and you can find the order form in your ISD 709 inbox. Although we won't be seeing our teachers every day at East, they're still here to offer help and support to whoever needs it. Now let's hear from some of our great teachers at East. Hi, I'm Laura LaFontaine. I teach health here at East. This is my 14th year at East, 25th year teaching in Lewis Public School. When you think about health, you got to think about the whole person, not just the physical, mental and emotional, and the social. This is a really trying time um, for everybody, and making those personal connections with the people that you can. I mean, I know you can't hang out with your friends the way you used to, but a daily check-in with a friend. Also, that daily exercise um, doesn't have to be going for a five-mile run, although I think that's a good idea. Um, you know, just going for a walk, getting outside, getting some fresh air. And for gosh sake, staying off your phones. <laughs> um, there's so much out there right now with technology and everything and social media and stay off your phones. Hi kids, welcome to East. I'm Mrs. Westholm. I teach honors English for 10th grade and I teach public speaking for 12th grade, and I teach grammar and composition for 12th grade. I also run the club, Crochet Club. Actually very popular. If you have ever been interested in crocheting in your life, 
or you already do crochet, we should connect because you'll be part of my club. I'm also in charge of Sher Oops, a Daisy. Sherlock Holmes Club because I love mysteries. I teach English. And what's not to love about mysteries and a little Sherlock Holmes? Am I right? Welcome to East. You may be wondering what you will be reading this year. Will I be reading online? Will I be reading a paper copy of something? You'll be reading a paper copy. I mean, you can read online if you want to, but we thought we'd let your eyes rest a little bit because you're already going to be on computer screens a lot. So every single student is getting all of their books for first semester in their Welcome Back to School bag. Hello, Greyhounds. My name is Mr. Zwak. This is my 10th year at Duluth East High School since uh, the switch of the schools took place. Uh, I'm a science teacher here and I'm going to show you an experiment and this might be how experiments go for you this year while we're doing this distance learning. We're going to take some calcium chloride, common chemical you find uh, even at Walmart in the form of something called driveway heat and we're going to put it in this water and I don't know if you can see this right now but this water has a temperature of about 20 degrees Celsius. We don't use Fahrenheit here because it's a science class. So we're at 20 degrees Celsius. I'm going to take some of these little white pellets and put it in there and we're going to see what happens to the temperature as this ha uh, as those two things are mixed together. And if you can see, because Ty is a really good cameraman and he's zoomed right in there, you can see that the uh, little red alcohol line there is rising, which means that this is an exothermic reaction taking place here. Now maybe in a science class you'd be asked to keep data, like have a stopwatch going as this takes place and note the amount of the temperature is rising as it goes up. This might be how our labs are done this year. We do them for you here. You watch it through the video. You collect data and then you interpret that data. Not ideal, but better than nothing. Perhaps sometimes you'll actually do the experiments at home if we think that you have some of the materials. It'll be a mishmash of all sorts of things. It'll be the best we can do to give you a good science exper experience. Hi, I'm Ms. Nachbar. I've been teaching at East for hmm, about a decade, and I teach AP World History, uh, Sociology for UMD credit, Regular Sociology, and Regular World History. Just want to welcome all of you to a new school year, and our hope is the way that this school year starts, we will transition back to being together. You are the best part of education, and we look forward to seeing you here back on campus when it is safe. So take care, be safe, and make wise choices. Fortunately, distance learning does not mean you can't participate in your favorite clubs and activities. Many clubs will still be meeting this first quarter. Let's hear from association. Hey, I'm Sean, this is Nyan, this is Matthew. We're members of Association, which is a student government body that organizes dances and other events along with exec. During a normal year, we would be planning the dance, spirit week, and assemblies for homecoming. In light of our current situation, we are trying to find new, improved, and very safe ways to hold a homecoming dance. Hi, I'm Alex and this is Ty. We're both members of the Duluth East Key Club. Key Club is a group that volunteers out in the Duluth community and we help to organize different events and volunteer events around Duluth. Uh, this year is going to look a little different so make sure to stay up to date with us on Google Classroom. So if you are interested in Boundless, you can check out our, our page on Instagram. We have a link for weekly Google Meets happening thir Thursdays at 10 a.m. Or you can email me, Mrs. Warmanin, and I'll send you the link. So if you find yourself in a, a dark place during this COVID lockdown or partial lockdown, um, just remember the things that you do have control of to do some healthy self-care. Um, 
eat well, get some exercise, get outside, get fresh air, consult your support people, don't be afraid to reach out. And if you're ever in a crisis, you can text MN to 741741. Hi, I'm Kelsey and I'm president of STEM Club. So although we won't be having traditional experiments in the classroom this year, if you're at all in interested in science, technology, engineering, or math, join our Google Classroom for some really fun at-home experiments, cool science videos, and the latest news in the science community. <laughs> History Day is so awesome and even offering competition online. If you think you want to compete in History Day, please do consider it. We had several students here that went on to the national level last year and Minnesota um, continues to be a top candidate at the national level. So really do think about it. It looks great on your growing resume at the high school level. Hey Greyhounds, I'm Kelsey and this is Ty and we're co-presidents of Exec this year. Usually we do things like put on dances and spirit weeks, but this year it's going to look a little bit different. So follow our social media accounts for updates and more. Have a great year! Thanks for watching everyone. I know this first quarter isn't what we expected, but let's try to make the best of it. Although it may not feel like it, your East High School community is still here and we're going to do everything we can to make this year amazing.